What's going on guys? Welcome back to WDYD CSP. What do you do as a central store processor? All right guys, this is going to be my tutorial for the ASP Sterad 100NX with all clear technology. All right, let's look at the screen. We have four cycles to choose from. Standard, Flex, Dual, and Express, and a fifth one to come that I'm very excited about. All right, two ways to open a door. You can do it on screen or you can use this kick plate. If you're a little stressed, Use the kick plate. It's kind of fun to do. Chamber door open. We want to take a look inside of our chamber. Make sure that the gasket is intact and clean. Chamber walls does not have any adhesive or anything blocking. The racks move in and out freely. Um, and again, no adhesive or any stickers on there. The chamber walls are designed the way they are for a specific reason. All right, let's take a look at this little plasma beam here. All right, unique to the sterilizer is this little plasma beam um, that detects the hydrogen peroxide within the chamber. It is important that that little beam does not get blocked. Um, there's actually like a blue beam on there that I was trying to show you, but I really can't um, on video. Um, but one of the biggest reasons for cycle failures is that that beam is being blocked or has debris or fingerprints etc etc keep that little glass clean there's a another one on the very top of the chamber wall there that i didn't show you guys um, but you can see it when i was showing you the chamber walls okay so this is one of the prime reasons for failure you place an item in there that has a tag that tag is going to flap around in there because vacuum pulses do happen within the sterilizer and moves that tag around and it's going to cause a cycle abortion it's best to look at the depth of your sterilizer place your items as far back on a rack as you possibly can and just tuck that tuck that label underneath for the tray okay if you're not sure what can go in the sterilizer this little information button gives you what items can be placed in there the actual cycle itself tells you how to load the sterilizer and how many items you can place in there um, and a description of the items that goes in there which is pretty neat it's like an on-screen in service for your sterilizers all right let's talk about the really big um, issue that i see um, out there when technicians are running this sterilizer and I'm doing it right now as I'm doing this video, keeping the chamber door open for too long, okay? As soon or right before you're about to put your items in there, open your door, place your items in the sterilizer, close the door immediately. Temperature is a huge factor in the uh, completion and the, the success of a cycle for these sterilizers. Um, the longer you keep the door open, that temperature in the chamber is going to drop and it's going to take a lot longer to condition, condition the load, even with the all clear technology. A tip that I give everyone out there is do your own preconditioning before you hit that start button. Place your items in the load, wait about five to 10 minutes before you hit that start button and let the all clear technology do another official preconditioning um phase there okay um you'll thank me later for it and believe me there's a there's a rhyme and reason for doing you can ask me later all right the printer okay um there this is another unique thing with this uh unit is that you can print the previous 100 cycles um out so if you accidentally didn't get a printout and you start another cycle you don't have to worry you can always go back and print um, your cycles. Now there is a long print and a short print. I was told and taught that the long print is more for repair vendors um, so that they can see what's going on and it's, it makes more sense to them. And the short one is more for everyday documenting of the load. Um, it's short, sweet, gives you the information you need, um, completion rate, everything like that. All right. One thing I do not like about these sterilizers are these printers are horrible. They jam up all the time. So if you get that accordion style paper coming out or you're printing and you don't see the printout, open that little door right there and I guarantee you're going to see the paper jammed up in there. 
Why does that happen? The way people are either tearing off their printer or the way they're loading. There's two little notches on the side and that paper has to sit perfectly in that notch. And I know the blade is on the top, so it would you would think it would make sense to go tear up in a way, but believe me and trust me, down in a way, you're gonna get the best results. All right, guys, and this is my tutorial of the Sterad 100 NX with all clear technology. Peace.